Good morning, good morning all. Uh, actually, good afternoon, apologies. <laughs> it is the afternoon. Um, it's still the morning at home. Yes, in the UK it is the morning, but here it is 20 to 1 on Monday the 16th of July. Uh, we are in Germany still. I'll give you a cheeky little look. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. As you will see, in the team tow vehicle today, the toes are genuinely out. Um, so, taking us forwards because the sun is shining, the weather is beautiful, uh, and life is good. Or well, life would be better if German roads weren't so damn confusing. Uh, so last night, we stayed at City Camp Frankfurt which took us hours to find um, despite having some really detailed well they detailed us and they got us to the district they got us to the district and they did not get us to the city camp so we had some really detailed instructions to take us down there um, and uh, we rocked up to the campsite in the light just we didn't get a, we didn't get dinner cooked in the light well, we got the tent pitched almost. Um, dinner was delicious. Dinner was delicious. Chef Bates stepped in <laughs> and uh, can you tell us what we had please Mr Bates for aperitif main and dessert? Did we have an aperitif? Oh, we had beer. We had a beer. A welcome drink. <laughs> oh, and we had a um, uh, fusely pasta with a tomato and mascarpone sauce. We ended up camping uh, just a few tents down from Team Snake Pit, uh, who are two guys, um, Ben and Will, from uh, one's from Peterborough and one's from High Wycombe. Um, they were with us this morning. We have one of their walkie talkies. If we never see them again, we apologise. Or only once, not much use. Um, but essentially, our map is really good for getting us from city to city, but in a city it's useless. So we've just done a U-turn on an autobahn because <laughs> we were going north instead of south. Um, so which means we got to see a bit more of Frankfurt than we were anticipating. Um, So now we are going south on Autobahn numero Bonf um, after speaking to some locals, etc. And getting the crack, the lowdown. Um, Team Snake, they, they, they managed to get onto the south Autobahn straight off the bat. Um, We're about to overtake police car, for a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Team Tau living the dream. I'll try and do it quite subtly. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. The Mongol Rally 2012. Whoop whoop! We should have beat them. Ah. <laughs> um, so the plan for today: there's a big party this evening in Kurnova, the checkout party organised by the adventurists, uh, which should be a good laugh. We need to. I need to get a costume. Joe's already sorted. Um, but first, we're going to try and hook up with Team Snake Pit in a place called Heidelberg which is supposed to be absolutely lovely. It's got a massive slosh. Um, <laughs> it's a castle. Honest. Um, and here you can just see the financial district of Frankfurt for the second time today. Um, and we were camping pretty much next to and that... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, next to that tower thing. Underneath, underneath a flyover, a recurring theme this trip so far. Rain and flyover, that seems to be Rain the, uh, and flyover is the story of Team Toe's Mongol Rally, European edition. So, Heidelberg, what can I tell you about Heidelberg? European Odyssey. I think. Odyssey. Odyssey. Wow, an Odyssey. <laughs> yeah. 
um, I would tell you something about Heidelberg, but... Okay, it's a Baroque old town. Baroque years, please. Old, 1300 to 1750. I just read that. No, I have not. It's me. I think that's right. And what a Baroque, Baroque period famous for? Baroque stuff. Turns, ladies and gentlemen, where you get a chord and you go da 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 da, like a little trill. They call the turn. The um, what? A turn. No, that's different, but it's from the same period, because Baroque architecture, much like its music, and our lane changing today, is very frilly. Um, so we're going to this Baroque town, a lively university atmosphere, um, an evocative half-ruined castle. Um, yeah. Britain's William Turner also loved the city, which inspired him to paint some of his greatest landscapes. Have you ever seen any of Turner's work? No. Neither have I. This could be an education for all of us. Um, yeah. So we'll check back in later.